Coco is purring on your back. <laughs> Why is all this happening to me? Look at my shop. Pull yourself together, baby. I don't even know how this is possible. My shop is gone, like everything. Not everything. They were able to save some goods. It's not all the goods that were inside. It changes nothing. Do you know the cost of goods there? Ah, oh, where am I going to start from now? We are going to be fine. Carol, how did this happen? Fatty, I don't know. I just got the call that my shop was on fire. I don't even know how the fire got there in the first place. Oh my, this is bad. Everything is gone. Yes, Fatty, look at me. Everything I have is gone. And I just restocked the shop. Oh my money. I don't know what I'm going to do. I am so sorry, Carol. Why are all this happening to us? Hello, mom. How are you doing? I'm fine. I looked for you in the room. You were not there. And you didn't take any of the cars out. Yes, mom. I took a walk and I went to see Simon. Okay, how is he? I heard about what happened to his girlfriend. Yes, it was a bad, tragic situation. How is he holding up to everything? I know it must be very hard for him. He's not fine, but he will be. I found him at home, all drunk, but he sobered up before I left. Okay, I will go and check on him. Okay, mom, I'm hungry. Ask the maid to bring me my food up to my room. Okay, but it's going to be Alice's food because Alice no longer works for us. Okay, mom, ask them to bring the food. I'll eat it. Oh, good. You're not going to ask me to beg her to come back. Or maybe I should double the amount I pay her. No, mom, I won't do that. She has served us for a long time. I think she should rest. And I'm very sure Tasha will not want her to come back here to work. That's true. She called me already and told me she was no longer working for us. Okay, mom. Have you paid her for everything? Yes, I have. I will take the check to her later and thank her for the years of service. Alright, that is good. But I will take the check to her myself. I should be the one to thank her for everything she did for me. Are you sure about that? Yes, mom. Alice made sure she looked over me all these years. That is the least I can do. Okay, if you say so. I will ask them to bring your food too. I will ask them to bring your food to you. Thank you, mom. Hello, Ethan. How have you been? That's I'm fine. It's good to hear from you. I thought you were not going to call me. I have been busy. That's why I did not reach out to you. Hope things worked out for you. Things are fine. I know you are fine. I was asking if you took my advice and told her how you felt. <sighs> I did, but things are not yet the way I want them to be. Okay, we'll talk about that when we see each other. Yes, and I look forward to you telling me about what happened that night to you. Okay, what are you doing? Nothing yet, what about you? Same, I was thinking if you are free, then we can meet. Sure, we can meet. When do you want us to meet? I will send you the time and location. Okay, see you then. Why did I let her go? She's stubborn, very outspoken. What will she be thinking about now? I'm sure she sees me as a monster and someone who doesn't want to talk to or see again. I know she thinks and knows I'm mad, but I shouldn't have hit her the way I did. I could have killed her. But why won't she listen to me that day and leave me alone? I made a mistake getting married in the first place. I brought her here to suffer. The best I could do was to let her go so I don't end up hurting her. She may not like what I did, but I did what I needed to do. This is the second time I'm hitting her and she was badly injured because she won't stop talking. Even when I asked her to, she's just too stubborn. But I can't lie, I miss her presence in this house. Finally, the food is here. It took them forever to bring it. This is not Alice's food, but I don't have a choice other than to eat it. What did I do wrong? Who did I offend as making all this happen to me now? God, I did nothing wrong. Why will you allow something like this to happen to me? Everything I have is gone. What they were able to salvage is not up to anything. Where am I going to start from? My village people finally got to me. I just lost my friend. And now I lost my business. How will I take care of this baby? Austin does not have the capacity to take care of us. What am I going to do now? This is not even supposed to be happening to me. You look sad. What happened? Everything happened, man. Everything. And I'm not looking like someone who plans on going to work. I just want to stay home to clear my head first. So what was wrong with you? I was at Carol's place to check how she's doing. Then, that dude, Ethan, came over to see her. And he kept offering to help her like I couldn't. Wow, he should have respected that a man was there. But he didn't. And he took all the will in me not to beat up that guy. Because I didn't want to see her more hot than she is already. Jealous. 
How is she holding up with everything? Yeah, I am jealous. Simon, Carol is not fine. Her shop caught fire today and everything was burnt. They were able to save some things, but she lost everything. What? Yeah, I'm in a shock as well. Like everything burnt. Wow, this is bad. Was it an electrical issue that caused the fire? I don't know, man. I was with her. I was still talking about the relationship with that dude when she got the phone call on the store. Wow, this is bad. Where is she now? I dropped her at home before coming here to check in with you. Okay, but you shouldn't be here. You're supposed to be at home with her. I don't know what I'm going to say to her, man. Everything just happening so fast. Here she was excited to have our baby. Then all this. You need to be more serious, man. And also because the responsibility is falling back on you now. I know that. I'm taking my job seriously. You need to because you have a woman and a baby to take care of. What are you doing here, Noah? Don't worry. I did not come to check on your gold digger. Call me that one more time and you wouldn't like what I would do to you. This is not your house and you have no right to come here. I see you still haven't changed your sharp uncontrolled mouth. Same way you haven't changed, untrained madman. Don't worry, your words don't get to me. I'm just grateful I let you go and I no longer have anything to do with you. I don't know what my mom saw in you. I think it's what she did not see in you. I'm not here to see you. But to see Alice, I don't know how a good woman like her trained you. I'm sure you just chose not to listen to her. If you're here to ask her to come to work for you, that is wrong. She is not going to do that. Noah, you are here. Tasha, you too should not be arguing like this. See your mom. I'm going out to have fun with the real man. I'm sorry about that. How are you doing and how is your health? I'm fine. I came here to tell you I'm sorry for everything that happened. You didn't need to. I understand you, Noah. Mom told me you no longer be working for us and I understand why you made the decision. Thank you, Noah, for your understanding. I made sure to teach the other maids how you wanted your food and I'm sure in no time they will know how to cook to your standard. Okay, Alice. Thank you for everything you have done for me so far. I've known you since I was little and all you have done is to make sure I was fine and okay. Have this, man. You don't need to give me this, Noah. It's too much. I can't take it. Your mom has given us more than enough already. This was from my mom. This is from me. And this is for the service and time you worked with me and my family. Thank you, Noah. I appreciate it. See you any other time, Alice. Take care of yourself. Okay, sir. Take care of yourself. Please take your drawers and eat well. I did not ask for this, man. You don't need to complain now. Remember when you were enjoying the whole ride without a condom? Okay, what will I do now? I'm working, but with Carol's shop bonds, there is no way my salary will be enough for us both. That's why you need to do more. I hear you, man. I'll do more and also look for more jobs. Maybe I'll run 10 jobs at once. If you can do that, I wish you good luck with that. You yeah, are being sarcastic about that. I'm not. I'm just making sure you understand what you need to do now. Yes, I do, man. Okay, since you do, better get going and meet Carol. She needs you more than I do now. In as much as I want to get her back, it's best I'm here with you because I have nothing that I could say to her that's helpful now. Stop running. She needs you. And she's not supposed to be alone. She might end up thinking, which we both know is not good for her health. I know that, man. But I'm not going back. I'll just sit here and figure out what I'm going to do next in my life. We both need that. Not looking bad, Tasha. Good to see you. Thank God to see you too. What have you been up to? Nothing much. Like I told you on the phone, just work and work. What about you? So are you ready to talk about it? Just dealing with every annoying part of my life that I wish I wasn't into in the first place. <laughs> you're not serious. But I'm happy to see that you're more brighter than the last time I saw you talking to yourself. Nah, I don't want to. I'm sure you don't want to see me crying. And everyone here will think you're breaking up with me. That's true. And that's why I don't want to make a mistake by letting this lady that I love go. I have accepted that there are some things we can't change or some mistakes we make that we have to live with, even if it makes us unhappy. But the case is different. We know I took your advice and I went to her place and we kind of had something. You know you can't force someone to like you, no matter how much you want them. That's the point. I don't know if we did because after that, she's not picking up my call and every time I try to see her, she brings up a lot of excuses. Wow, does that mean the two of you now have something going on? I still want to give it a try but not now. I think she doesn't want to talk about it and maybe she just used you for that moment and then went back to whatever she's doing. She lost her friend and she's grieving so she does not need that now and there's this dude that always has an issue whenever I go to see her. Why not now if you still want to shoot your shot? 
she did not make mention of having anyone and this guy is not her type and i don't feel like he's someone for me to worry about do you think that's a man and he probably sees you as a threat okay enough talk about me tell me about you how have you been able to solve the problem at home good for you i hope you win a heart soon i think i have but i don't know how long it will last you're here alone where is austin he's out to see simon he should be here with you and not out living while you're crying yourself out i'm done like this i just want to be alone and think about myself you're not alone i'm here with you we will go through this together i lost everything fatty i used the money i had to restock and now i don't even know where and how to begin it is not much but you can use it to start something back son where did you go to mom how many times have i told you to stop looking for me like i'm a lost sheep i was worried about you i'm fine where are you coming from where did you go to if you must know i was at alice's place so you were there all this while growing human to just give her the check and come back home i stayed back to eat some of her food i miss her cooking okay and then nothing else mom that's it okay did you see tasha did you talk to her i didn't see her he went to eat at alice's place and he told me he wouldn't stay too long over there look at the time he's coming back home what exactly does he want i don't understand he's the one that did this he made me send off tasha and he wanted a divorce and now all this tell me what's wrong tasha talk to me i and noah are over over i don't understand what you mean by that we've ended the marriage divorced what you've got to be kidding i'm not kidding ethan this is the truth what happened? Were you guys not fine or what exactly? We were fine, but something happened, Ethan. What's that? He fell sick and then he beat me. I guess that's what made him say he doesn't want the whole marriage again. He beat you up? I wouldn't put it that way, Ethan. See, we're over. Me and him are over. That's the main thing. So he beat you up and then he gave you a divorce paper to sign? That is kind of what happened. Why are you creating excuses for him? Tell me what happened exactly. Ethan. I don't even know if I'm strong to talk about it. Like, I'm hurt. <laughs> I didn't think he would do something like this to me. I mean, yes, he hit me. But <laughs> it's not even about that. How can he hit you? He's not feeling well. And now look at what he did to me. He ended things with me. I'm really sorry, Tasha. I'm sorry, but it's good reasons to a woman bitter. You're not helping me out. You love him and didn't expect he would do this to you. I'm sorry. It's okay. What do you want to do now? Nothing. I don't want to have anything to do with him ever again. Baby! Austin! Where has it gone to now? Oh God, I'm so exhausted on everything. Everything just keeps happening at once for me. How do I get over all of this? Hey baby. Austin, where are you coming from? I want to see someone. How are you feeling? I'm not fine, Austin. I'm not okay. I know, baby. Are you sure that you know? My store is gone. That's the place I get most of my money. All the money I've been using to take care of myself and you. I know this. You don't act like you do. How do we survive this time? Look, I'm pregnant with our baby and this is happening now. Like of all times. Baby, I understand you. See, it was unexpected and there's nothing we can do about it. But I'm promising you. I don't want to hear all of those stuff. I don't. <laughs> I know I've disappointed you a lot of times, Caro, but I will step up now. I don't know what to say. I want you to say you believe me in to do the right things this time. See, you've always been there for me. Allow me to be there for you this time around. Do you have money? I don't yet have the money, but I'll work harder to provide for you. I promise you that. Austin, thank you. Thank you, baby. You don't need to thank me. This is my duty. Where did she go to? Dressed like that. Where was she headed to? Has she started seeing someone else as I suspect? No, no, it's too early and she's not that kind of person. Unless she has been pretending to be that good girl all along. Meanwhile, she isn't that good girl. What do I do now? Why am I? Noah. Simon, when did you enter inside? Just now you were talking to yourself. What is wrong? Can you imagine that Tasha has already seen someone else? How do you know that? I went over to Alice's place to give her a check and thank her for her service. And I met Tasha dressed to go out. Can you imagine? It's not even up to a year and she's already seen someone else. Do you still like her? No, I don't. It's just that I didn't expect that kind of behavior from her. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. She never even liked me from the beginning or wanted to be here. She didn't. You were the one who sent her away. I hope you remember this, Noah. Even though. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> I said you should stop it. Noah. Noah. <laughs> Simon, I'm with you. Mommy. Welcome home. How was your outing? It was good, Mommy. I see Noah is in here. What did he come for? He was missing my food, so he came to have a test. Mommy, I don't want him here. I don't want him around my vicinity. You can't stop him. I hope you know this. He hurt me. He sent me off from his life like I'm... Like... Is that why you acted the way you did to him? What was I meant to do? To hug him and kiss the floor where he walks on? Mommy... You should have showed a sense of maturity and acted normal. I acted normal, mom. I hope you didn't cook for him, though. No, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Did something happen? No, nothing happened. You were talking on Tasha. I don't even remember where I stopped, but she's wrong to be going out with someone else already. Like, it's not right. Have you been thinking of her lately? No, I haven't. Why will I, when I've got so many other stuffs to do? You like her, Noah? Hell no, I don't like her. I'm just irritated by her behavior. The way my mom has talked a lot on how much she's a good person. So she's a bad person? Yes, she is. A pretender and a lot of things. I'm grateful she didn't get pregnant for me. What if she did get pregnant? That would make things more difficult. Simon, I have a minute to ask. Do you think this illness of mine can be transferred to my child? We can't say. Maybe not. You know my dad had this as well. I, I don't want to imagine. <laughs> Tasha, Tasha. <laughs> Tasha, stop tickling me. Stop it, please. <laughs> Noah, where's my bag? I need to give him a sedative. Fatty. Austin, do you have a minute to spare? It's not like I can say no, or can I? We need to talk. I won't take much of your time. Alright. Austin, what do you plan on doing with everything that has happened? As you can see, I'm working. Do you think this job will be able to meet up on everything that is needed by you two? It won't, but at least it is something. You need to step up, Austin, more than ever before. You need to do more. I'm trying my best here, and you don't need to tell me. I need to tell you. See, so much has happened already to us all, from Nina's death to Carol's shop burning down. I don't know what will happen next. Nothing bad will happen again, Fatty. Nothing bad will happen. You don't know that, Austin. You don't. You are right, but we've got to be positive. Austin, you need to step up, please. Find another job to do. Take extra shifts and all of that, please. Okay, ma. I am very serious here. Don't take from Carol at this point. Don't even do that. I won't do that, Fatty. You both decided to keep the baby, so you've both got to work together. Do you think we don't know this? I know Carol knows this, but I'm not sure if you know this. I don't think so. Did Carol ask you to come talk to me? She doesn't know we are having this conversation. Thank you very much, ma. Now I need to get back to work before they give me a sack letter. Take all of that I've said to her, Austin. Prove me wrong that you're a responsible guy. Hello, Mrs. Ruth. Simon, I didn't know you were around. I just stopped to check on Noah. Have you seen him? Yes, I have. And I just gave him some medications to calm him down. You fell into it again? Yes, ma. And if we're not careful, his condition may worsen. What is this now? What is causing all of this? He's thinking, ma. Thinking? What is he thinking of? I think Tasha, because he was telling me all about her before it happened. Why will he be thinking of Tasha? I can't really place it. He won't admit that he likes her though, but I think he likes her. He was the one that asked for a divorce, remember? I know. Do I go to beg them now? What is this boy's problem now? I'm not saying that. No one won't like that. I think for now we need someone close by. Someone he can be friends with and talk to. He's got you. I'm referring to a female friend, Ma. 